Hi, Michael from Invariant here, and welcome to the tutorial video for printing and exporting in Rapid Plan Online and Rapid Path Online. There are a couple of ways to print and export your plans, so let's start with the more straightforward way. Here, we have a completed plan ready to export to PDF. The first way to export is by clicking the printer icon above the Properties palette to reach the Print Options screen, like so. Now we have options for page settings on the right and a print preview window on the left in which you can pan and zoom to adjust the area being captured on the PDF. First, let's set our page size and orientation. As we change our page size, we can see the boundaries of the print preview section change. Once that's all set, we can now adjust the print preview to capture the area we need, which can be done by left clicking and dragging the map. If you need to zoom in or out, note that you can use the same zooming controls you use to navigate around the canvas area. For desktop users, this would be scrolling up and down with your mouse wheel. For laptop users, this would be swiping up and down on the touchpad with two fingers. And for those on touchscreen devices, pinch in and out with two fingers. If you're having trouble capturing the right zoom level, please note that there is also a fine-grained zoom control on the print preview screen. Desktop and laptop users should see this slide bar appear to the right of your plan preview automatically, and touchscreen users can enable it by clicking the pink magnifying glass icon here. Once we've positioned the plan as needed, we can click the export button in the bottom right corner of the window, which will give us the options for exporting to PDF or to an image file. If you intend to print out your plan, please note that you will first need to export it to a PDF or an image that we would recommend exporting it to a PDF. Let's now take a look at the second way to print and export, which is through the use of print regions. Print regions allow you to define an area or areas on your plan to be captured when exporting, and these allow users to better plan where their note sections will be positioned on the final page. You can have one print region on a plan or multiple regions, the latter allowing you to create a multi-page PDF file. When you capture an area inside of a print region, that area will be fit completely onto the page size you've selected, no matter what page size or orientation you've chosen. A good rule to follow is to match the orientation of your print region with that of the page settings in your print options as a portrait style print region on a landscape style page will capture much more surrounding area on the left and the right in order to fit the entire print region, which then means that your plan objects appear smaller or more zoomed out on the final page. You can add a print region to your plan by clicking the plus sign next to the print region section in your layers palette, like so. Note that the print region will be centered around the red location pin in the center of your screen. You can enable or disable this red pin by clicking the wrench icon at the top of the layers palette. After adding a print region to your plan, you should automatically see a red box appear with a blue box surrounding it. The red box is your print region and the blue box is your page preview, which indicates how the final page will appear when exporting. You can reposition your print region by clicking and dragging the text that says print region one. You can resize your print region by clicking once on the print region text, then using the control points in the upper left and the bottom right corners to drag and resize. To plan where your notes sections will appear in relation to your page margins, you can choose your desired page size by clicking the three dots next to the print region section and selecting the page size, like so. Then you can click this icon next to print region one to fit the print region to your chosen page size. Now, as I position the title box tool on my plan, we can see it snap to the edge of the page. Once your print region is adjusted to capture your whole plan, you can reach the print options page by clicking the printer icon next to your print regions section, like so. When the print options window appears, we can see print region one is selected at the top of the settings and our page size is already set up how we want it to be. There's also a printer icon next to each print region under the print region section, which will bring up the print options for that specific print region but clicking on the printer icon next to the print regions section will select all print regions on your plan. 
You can also click the printer icon above the properties palette as we did earlier in the video, but note that your print region will not be selected automatically, so you'll need to select it here at the top of the settings. Once you're ready, just click export and download or print the plan. Now let's quickly add a second print region just to see how it looks when exporting a plan with multiple pages. I'll back out of the print options screen and return to my plan, then add another print region. We now see print regions one and two appear under our print region section with delete buttons next to each, along with individual printing options and the option to fit each print region to its page size. If we need to reorder the print regions, we can click and drag by the three dots to the left of the print region's title, like so. Once we're ready to export, we can click the printer icon next to the print regions label, and we now see two print previews appear. When we click export, we would end up with one PDF file that has two pages on it. This concludes the tutorial video for printing and exporting in Rapid Plan Online and Rapid Path Online. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest here at Invariant.